What is going on everybody? This is Doro DS and I've got my first ever walkthrough for Pokemon Emerald. I hope you guys like the, uh, the layout I did for Pokemon Emerald. It's pretty okay for me. First one I've ever done. But here we go. I got the opening credits. Opening scene for Pokemon Emerald. Back in 2005, this was the game to get anybody. Doesn't matter who you were, you had to have Pokemon Emerald for your Game Boy Advance. As this, as these the jewel games, a third of the jewel games, first there was Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Ruby, and now, and then, they had Pokemon Emerald. The best of the jewel series. Really good starting sequence from Game Freak 2005. Really, really good one. I gotta like it. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get started right now. As we press start, the internal batteries run dry and the game can be played, but, however, the clock based events will no longer work. And for some reason, I was messing, messing around with my joystick because it was kind of feeling weird. So here we go. We're going to start a new game and start my journey through the Hoenn region. And there we have Professor Birch. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but you, everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor as everybody. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as Cooper workmates. And sometimes we band together in battle. Sometimes our closest, we don't know everything about one. In fact, we don't know much. Many, 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 many Pokemon we don't know. But he's a researcher. And he does those things. Who are you? Yes, I'm a boy. I'm a guy. And my name is Doro. D. Lowercase. A. R. O. And there we go. Yes, it is Doro. Ah, okay. You're Doro, who's moving into my new hometown of Little Root. I get it now. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later, so come see me in my Pokemon map. And here we go. Starts out, of course, you're in the moving truck. You are in the moving truck getting ready for everything. And, um, let's see here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Just look around in, in the moving truck. Dara, we're here, honey. It must, must be tiring riding right with our things in the moving the truck. truck. Well, this is a little bit town. Yes, I already know that. How do you yeah, like it? This is, this is our new home. It's a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And yet. Get your own room, Doro. Let's go inside. All right, Mom, yes, let's go. Let's go into our house. See, Doro? Isn't it nice in here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work you're moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Tell your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Yes, Mom. Yes. I won't, Mom. Yes, I will. I'll do my clock. Ah, uh, the clock is stopped. Better sit and start it. And when I did this, it was about five o'clock ish, almost six o'clock. So we're going to start it there. We are going to start it at 6 o'clock. Almost. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Pokemon are very convenient. All right. All right, gonna go on my computer now and get that potion. There's a po- if y'all didn't know, there is a potion inside your PC when you start. So, go there, there's your potion right there. Quick and easy. Just like that. So! Scoot in for a little bit. Scoot in my seat. Farther away. Alright, I'm going to change my settings. I think I'm going to change it to mid, battle scene, battle style shift, stereo, and uh, type 1 looks fine. I can't, I can't tell which one to use. And here we go. We're going to go head downstairs. Oh, Dario, Dario, come quickly. Oh, my. Look, it's Palberg Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. Maybe Dad will be on. Maybe. We brought you this report from in front of Palberg Jim. Thank you for watching. No, it's over. Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He was writing a story. You should go over and introduce yourself. Okay. We're gonna go introduce ourselves to Professor Birch. I don't even know what's over there. Ellipsis. Oh, hello, then. You are? Ellipsis. Oh, you're Dara. You're next to neighbor. Our daughter about the same as you. Our daughter is excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs. Our daughter. Our... How do you refer to your daughter as our daughter? Not just. Shiny. Pokeball! Pokemon. Vegeta, a Pokemon. Uh, no, who are you? <laughs> who are you? Ellipsis. Oh, well, you're Dara. So you're moving us today. I'm, I'm May. I'm glad to meet you. Yep. Friends with Pokemon all over the world. It's a long dream, girl. And you're very far from it. And you'll never get it. I heard about you, Dara, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice and we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I just met you, Dara. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. Oh, no, I forgot. I'm dead catching some wild Pokemon. Oh, I'll catch you later. Oh, Goodbye. Okay. And that's about it for this part. About it. Okay, so we're gonna go and just walk around and just take a look at Little Root Town. I'm high. There's a scary Pokemon outside. I can hear her cries. Oh, to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go and see what's happening for me? Oh my gosh, girls. Oh, it is nice. And Professor Birch is in trouble. Oh no. Over there, please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. All right, so we got Mudkip, Torchic, and Trigo. Torch, Torch, Mud, Mudkip, Trigo, Torico, Torico, Torico. Torch, Torch, Mudkip, Mudkip. When I was younger, I could do this a lot better. Torico, Torico. That's what I can do. Okay, gonna Trigo. Zigzagoon, we meet again. Go, Trico! Pow! Use pound! Pfft. Nice job! Very nice job! Interesting! Go get him, the Geico Gecko! You called him that! Go, go, Geico Gecko! Trico's gonna attack Pound! Alright, so you're gonna keep pounding him. And just keep pounding him, I guess. 
The same as before as any other Pokemon game, you have to help somebody, except Professor Oak. This has been the same thing going on with all three Pokemon games. And who has the tall grass studying while Pokemon when I was jumped? You saved me. Thanks a lot. My Yes, This is not my place to chat. So come to my Pokemon lab later, okay? I can have a lovely... Centaur, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't know. I can explain myself and everything else about that story. It's impeccable. By the way, you got the little pillar with a plum. I guess you had to follow the dreams after you. And yes, thanks for rescuing me. I looked to him. You the Pokemon that you used. Doro, she's a Trico. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna name him Geico. Now that sounds stupid, but that's the only thing I can think of. Geico. The Gecko. 50% Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I was kind of interrupted, but we're back. Uh, May is also starting Pokemon while helping me out. No, no, don't you think it'll be a, might be a good idea to go see May? Oh, yeah. Great. May should be happy, too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alrighty, so I'm off. Oh, wait, no. Get back here, no. Okay. Now we're off to go see May. Gotta go through Old Old Dale Town and... Other places. I'm gonna go home. I don't know why. I'm just gonna go home and rest for an unknown reason. Yes, mom. Bye bye. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Alrighty. And we get our first battle right here. Another Zigzagoon! Let's destroy it. Destroy him right now. Go, Geico. Use Pound. <laughs> if you guys hear any background, mute background noise, like voice in the background, that's me during the actual gameplay. I didn't know I was being recorded, so that was pretty funny, so can we go kind of crazy while doing this, but that was just a mess up next time, it won't happen again, but I'm going to use Pound to destroy the Zigzagoon, kaboom, oh no he's not dead, shoot, triple pound attack, and there we go, bop, you dead Zigzagoon. Okay, go, get go, 17 XP. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. Alright, let's go. Why am I stopping? Oh, yeah, let's... That makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna pause it, so I'll be right back. Alright. Okay, guys, I'm back. Alright, that was a kind of a filter change I wanted to see. I might change it back. Alright, so we're gonna head that through Overdell Town, then we're on Route 103. And there's May right there as we head to her. I think they got battle. So close, and it's a Poochiana. A mighty Poochiana. The Gecko Gecko used Pound. This is where I decide to go. Leer attack. I do some, I do double you. I'm going to start to weaken his defense a little. And I just go with Pound. I got to have some strategy in this. I don't want to go all out every single time. 
And let's do this. And I faint. No, I don't faint. Food does. And I get 15 XP points. And that will get me to level 7. Actually, I mean level 6. And I use abs I learned Absorb. Good job, Geico Geico. Alright, now we're gonna go face May. And I have a potion I'm gonna use because he's down to like 12. 14 EXP. He was in 12, but then his boost to level 6 gave him 2 more HP points. So whenever I get a badge or whenever I get a new Pokemon, which you will, you, you guys will see Trico or Geico Gecko on your right hand part of the screen. Right there, and when I win badges, they'll be in the bottom right under the right under the gameplay. Alright, here we go. The battle against me. You will see her a lot in your gameplay in your in your journey. I think you battled her at least five or six times. Daiko the Gecko versus Pound. Now I'm gonna use some Leer to lure Torchic's defense down and get a good couple pounds. Leer again to get it down a little bit more, which is also good. But you you want your Pokemon to have enough HP and defense to keep enough to keep themselves alive. And then that was a huge pound, holy smoke. And I'm down to 5 HP. And I use pound one more time, and that will do it. Torchic has been defeated a critical hit. Torchic is down, and I gain 69 EXP points to level 7. May is defeated. I win against May. 300 Poké Dollars, or whatever. <laughs> I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokémon and he already likes you. I might be able to befriend any Pokémon, easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. I love that noise. Whenever you hop. So freaking funny. Anyway, we're heading back, and May's like, Daro, over here, let's hurry home. Let's hurry home. May, why are you running? I'm going let's go. Walking. The biggest shortcut are those cliffs, and that's why they're, the cliffs are so fun. And May is already, all of it, obviously, already inside. Alrighty, here we go, Professor. Oh, hi, Daro. Oh, hold on. Oh, hi, Daro. I heard you beat May on your first try. First That's try. excellent. May has been helping me with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Dara, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have it. Pokédex! Congratulations, Dora received the Pokédex. The Pokédex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokémon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokémon and records its data here in the Pokédex, why May looks out for me while I'm doing my fieldwork and shows me. Oh wow, Dara, you get a Pokédex too? That's great! Just like me! Something, I guess I'm with you. The Pokédex. Put them away. It's fun when you get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch it with the Pokeballs. Alrighty. I did get a Pokedex, so uh, well, if you're listening to my little bit of banter from the recording. Let's go. 
this is in a long time. Alrighty. So Here we go, and we're gonna go visit mother to get my running shoes. The good old running shoes. Your father's charm will write to look good together with your Pokemon. You're going to give your boy out in an adventure. Look at these running shoes. I'll put the zip in your stuff. Why am I changing the voices? Oh, watch. You should just stop the voices. Dyro, those shoes came with instructions. Press the beat button while wearing these shooting shoes to run extra fast. Slip on the shoes and race to the great outdoors. Da 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 ellipsis! Ellipsis! To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful if you've any habits you come home. Alright. There we go, we got the running shoes. I'm just laughing at myself in this recording, oh my goodness. If you can hear this, you can hear it a lot better when you, if you're having, if you had earphones in and your, or headphones, you can hear this a lot better. So, sorry for the people who have their stereos or... Alrighty, I'm just being stupid Alrighty, right guys, now. I hope you enjoyed this Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching part, uh, first episode of Pokemon, Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. I hope you guys will enjoy episode two kind of really soon, so... Peace! Like, Check subscribe, videos, comment, subscribe, do like whatever. Like, comment, this is Doro DS. Stay tuned for more. And I'll, and, I'll Twitter, and I'll catch you guys next time. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. So, Doro talk to you guys later. And peace.